In this video, I'm going to review the top 5 best GPUs for AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. If you are looking for an optimal match, then this video will help you find the most suitable GPU for your gaming or video editing software. I researched a number of GPUs and filtered out some of the best for a better experience for Ryzen 7 5800X. I leave the links to the discussed GPUs in the description, you can check them for more information and the latest prices. So, let's get started. At number first, it is NVIDIA Geforce RTX 3080. RTX 3080 is perhaps the best and also my max recommendation for Ryzen 7 5800X. The features that come with the RTX 3080 are just as impressive as the technical specifications. The most exciting one has to be RTX IO, an API designed to operate together with a direct storage API from Microsoft. This feature is important because it allows data to be transferred from the SSD to the GPU directly. The downside is that developers have to design the game around this technology in order to benefit from it, so it may take some time before I can enjoy all the advantages that come with it. As compared to RTX 3090's price, it costs less than half of it and therefore more reasonable than 3090 with Ryzen 5800X keeping away the fact that it's hard to find at its MRP right now. It is made up of 8704 CUDA cores and 10 GB of GDDR6X memory which has an insane speed of 19 GBs per second. This GPU is one of the best choices for 4K gaming, as well as workstations thanks to the high number of CUDA cores around twice as many as the 2080 and its outstanding 29.7 TFL OPS throughputs. You can expect 60 plus frames per second in every ray tracing supported game at 4K resolution. The only concerning thing here is its power consumption. Its TDP stands at 320 watt, which is high but for enthusiasts, I am sure it's not a big deal. At number 2 it is AMD Radeon RX 6800. Going one step above the previous model, I have the Radeon RX 6800. This is the second most powerful GPU in Radeon's lineup, falling slightly behind the 6800 XT. Despite that, you have an excellent GPU that you can combine with a Ryzen CPU. The specs are not the best in the world, but are still great. AMD has returned stomping to the high end of the graphics card sector after being completely disappeared for many years. The company has had good results in the mid and low ranges, even in the lower part of the high range, but nothing that could really compete with graphics cards like the GTX 1080T or the RTX 2080T until RDNA 2 came along. The base clock is slightly higher than the 6700 XT, sitting at 1.7 GHz, with a boost clock of 2.1 GHz. You get 3840 stream processors and 16 GB of GDDR6 RAM operating at 256-bit bandwidth. Like the previous Radeon GPU I mentioned, the RX 6800 can utilize AMD's smart access memory. Giving the CPU bigger access to the faster GPU RAM means that you should see some performance improvements. Putting the RX 6800 on the benchmark table, I see some consistency. Regardless of the game used in the benchmark, it always lands between NVIDIA's 3070 and 3080, making it an excellent bargain. The front that AMD has actually attacked with this RDNA 2 architecture is performance per watt. It increases more than 50%, which means at least a reduction in the consumption of the card of at least 33%. It shows that with that 70-80% to more performance of the 6800 XT it remains in consumption of only 300 watts of reference, but it will be necessary to see if it is true and if AMD really delivers what it promised. At number 3, it is RTX 3090, 24 GB. Again, I'm still going to have to await the release of AMD's new Radeon cards to determine the real heavyweight champion, but right now, it's the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090, 24 GB. NVIDIA has developed an absolute monster of a GPU accompanied by an equally monstrous $1,500 price tag. Most gamers, including the team at Premium Builds, are always rooting for Team Red to bring the heat and to continue generating fierce competition but it's going to be exceptionally difficult to top this beast. Suppose you've got a burning desire for ludicrous frames per second's performance at unreasonable resolutions and money literally burning a hole in your pocket. In that case, you cannot go wrong with the RTX 3090. That whopping $1,500 nets you 24 GB of GDDR6 volts RAM, over 10,000 CUDA cores, boost clocks up to 1700 MHz by default, overclocking support, beefy cooling solutions, no matter which manufacturer you choose, and guaranteed buttery smooth 4K frames per second's performance. Just make sure you account for the 350 watts TDP and select a top-notch power supply unit. At number 4, it is Radeon RX 6900 XT. If you want an ultimate value king, then Radeon RX 6900 XT is the way to go. This GPU performs head-to-head -head with NVIDIA's high-end GPUs at a price much lower than NVIDIA RTX 3090. 
combining this Radeon 6800 series GPU with the Ryzen 5000 series CPU Ryzen 9 5900X would give you the added advantage of smart access memory. Smart access memory allows the CPU to access all the VRM from the GPU to boost performance when required. It is the best graphics card for the Ryzen 9 5900X ray tracing is the latest technology in gaming graphics. The dramatic change in lighting due to ray tracing is something every gamer needs. Nvidia being the pioneer in this technology, has matured its ray tracing performance. If you are a fan of 1440p gaming with a high refresh rate, this GPU has the AMD FreeSync technology to ensure no stuttering, tearing, and lag in gaming performance. It is made to play all the top AAA titles like the Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Ultra High, 4K at greater than 70 frames per second. Competitive games like Overwatch, Epic, 1440p can be played at 326 frames per second. If you own a 240Hz monitor with AMD FreeSync capability, then you can enjoy the perfect combination of 240Hz with 240 frames per second and a giant competitive edge that your skill cannot. And the last one on my list is NVIDIA RTX 3070. Next in the line of NVIDIA's Ampere graphics cards is the RTX 3070. This one sits below the 3080 and is marketed as the best mid-ranger NVIDIA has to offer. Despite that, as with all 3000 series GPUs, you are looking at one of the best performance per dollar ratios currently on the market. It makes it the right combination with the Ryzen 7 5800X. The RTX 3070 has a base clock of 1.5 GHz, and it can boot up to 1.73. The numbers are not all that different from 3080 until I look at some other aspects. You get 5888CUDA cores combined with 8GB GDDR6 RAM working at 256-bit bandwidth. Considering the drop in performance, it is natural that it won't be able to compete with a 3080. The good news is that it can trade blows with a 2080T and will beat the 2080 Super slightly. But this fifth NVIDIA RTX 3070, I have come to the end of my review. These all five are the best GPUs for AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. Now it's up to you which will meet your budget and requirements. In my opinion, AMD Radeon RX 6800 is the overall best CPUs in terms of performance, playing games, and video editing. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching this video.